I'm Sergeant Ron Fay with the Louisville Metro Police Department Traffic Unit. With the 4th of July holiday weekend up on us, we encourage you to have fun with your friends and family. But remember to drive safe and sober. We will have officers out encouraging safe and sober driving throughout the entire weekend, both day and night. If you choose to drink, we just want you to drink responsibly. Remember there are several options on how you can get home after you've been drinking. It includes the ride share options with Uber and Lyft and our taxi options as well. Again, the Louisville Metro Police Department Traffic Unit, we just want to encourage you to have a safe and sober weekend. Hi, I'm Sergeant Trevor Blakely with the Louisville Metro Police River Unit and today I'm going to give you some safety tips for this upcoming weekend of the 4th of July to keep you safe on the water. First tip is to make sure that you have plenty of fuel aboard your boat. Secondly, make sure that you have enough life jackets for all that may be riding with you. Have a boat kit of various items readily available in case you was to need them. Know that boating under the influence is a no-no and you will go to jail if we catch you. If you're boating at night, please make sure you use your running lights and all safety devices are properly working and adjust your speed to a lower speed at night. We want to make sure that you have fun, but know you can quickly become a holiday statistic. Please watch out for swimmers, personal watercrafts, and other devices people may be using in the water. They may not see you or hear you as you proceed with caution. If you follow these tips, we are hopeful that you will have a safe and fun holiday weekend. My name is Martin Hecker. I'm an attending physician at UofL Health and uh, UofL Hospital in the ER. Going by the numbers, it's it's got to be close to the busiest day of the year. Traumatic, you know, for traumatic injuries. If we can have some really devastating injuries that you just don't see coming, just boom, gets you and it changes your whole life. You really could be injured in any place on your body, of course, when these fireworks get going, but very common ones are hands and eyes. We'll have people blow off their entire hand or just three or four fingers staying far away from it. I'd say that's kind of rule number one is one person should be doing the lighting, no children involved, and just that person, when they light it, they should run away very quickly and take cover. And the people around, everyone just needs to be really paying attention um, from a distance, um, and you'll still be able to enjoy the show. You know, we don't have people coming in who took cover and wore a helmet or eye protection. We have people who thought it couldn't happen to them.